So Vala has been very regulatory forward from the beginning. Um, when the start, Vala started, uh, the, the co-founders engaged directly with the regulators to let them know what they were doing, that they intended to start a crypto exchange. And that was in South Africa. And since then, we've had relatively good relationships with, uh, with the, the regulators and we still work very closely with them in, in crafting the, the potential regulations that are due to come out in South Africa. Um, shortly, we've provided a lot of input um, together with the rest of uh, the industry in South Africa to the regulators about how we think things should be and, and what's practical for companies in our space to, to manage. But, um, and, and most importantly, what keeps investors and, and customers safe. I don't think we get to operate without the buy-in from regulators, right? I think um, they play an important role um, in the development of new markets, especially financial markets, um, where we like we handle custom money, right? So we've actually got a very big responsibility to our customers, um, and regulators play a big role in ensuring that they make that they're checking that. Um, we don't just say that we serve our customers well and that we operate an ethical business, but that, you know, that there's checks and balances to ensure that that is true in all cases. But what we want to focus on more than anything is saying it's fine and dandy to uh, be compliant with uh, regulation, but you always have to look at your business first and say what kind of business do you have and what are the risks that come with your business and do you have the appropriate controls in place for that business. And I think that's always been our approach and it's worked so far because even when regulation came, um, nine times out of ten, we ticked every box for every regulatory requirement that was required from us from regulators. We've extended that approach now to other markets that we've, we've entered. Um, a large part of what we do is, is um, in, in, in the area of, of the business that I'm working in, is actually just talking directly to regulators, trying to get licenses. And we, we, we definitely wouldn't ever operate in a, in a market that we didn't feel welcome in, that, that we weren't uh, authorized to trade in. And we, we try our best to, to obtain the, the licensing and the regulatory authorizations that we need to operate. So our approach is really, uh, I would say, twofold. It's proactive. So we really try to be as proactive with, as possible with regulators. So we were one of the, the first crypto exchanges to become an accountable institution under the FICA Act. Um, we did this three years before we needed to. I'm in an industry now where there's no set laws or regulations in place, and we're at the forefront of that industry. As a lawyer, you don't really get those opportunities um, in any other industry. We actually enjoy talking about Valor and explaining what we do and why it's important. So um, walking that journey with regulators is great. We are currently looking at exploring um, a whole host of different regions. Uh, we're also looking to expand a lot into Africa. Africa is a major focus point for us. Um, so there's a lot on the go and, and also Europe. My job is a lot to do with doing the upfront research, how it will benefit Valor in the long run. Um, what do the laws look like in those specific jurisdictions and how do we get Vela into the licensing phases of those jurisdictions and making sure that we're compliant with all their regulatory requirements. I think there's just a general pride in being able to be part of the legal department. Um, we might be in the background, but a lot of what we do enables the, the release of products or expanding into new territories. Our modus operandi when we move from one region to another is to ensure that we understand the region first. We don't try to go in there with the same copy and paste mentality. Compliance comes a lot of um, risk assessments where we do product risk assessments, geography risk assessments, uh, client risk assessments to ensure that by the time that we get into that region, we understand one, what we need to do from a regulatory perspective, but two, what we also need to do from a, just a general operational and a services perspective for that market. Regulators, in my experience, are very much averse to crypto and what it represents because it represents, in my opinion at least, a taking back of control of your finances. Having said that, we still need to work within the parameters of applicable law. Um, also, in a way to show the regulators that we do want to comply with the law. We don't want you to stop you know, to ban crypto in any sort of way, um, but we're willing to apply, to apply the law, comply with the law. Uh, so it is important and, and we apply that every day. Um, because we wanted to protect our customers from a KYC angle and show the regulators, hey, this is important to us, it's important to our customers. Um, so we're proactive and we also, ed we try to educate regulators and we always open our doors um, to discussions and try and 
let people know this is how our exchange works. This is how we think you should be regulating us to safeguard our customers. And safeguard, safeguarding customers is probably the most important thing that Vela looks at.